Hello and welcome to YouTube channel Technology Enthusiasm, where you get videos related to career and technology. In this video, I am going to show you the roadmap to placement. So, if you are a double E or triple E student and from a tier 3 college, this video is for you. So, whatever I am sharing in this video with you, that is all based on my research and experience. So in this video, I am going to share some possible career paths out of many. So please analyze your strengths and weaknesses before choosing any particular career path. So in your first year or second year, you need to have a look at the entire syllabus. By entire, I mean your syllabus up to fourth year. Now once you have a look at the entire syllabus, you can see the topics in advance. And try to have a brief knowledge of all the subjects as well as their content. So after having a look at the entire syllabus, you can decide whether you want to go for competitive exam after completing your graduation or you would like to go for a job. Now if you have already pre-decided that you are going for competitive exams or if you have decided after watching the entire syllabus that you are comfortable with the syllabus and you can prepare for most of the subjects then you can move ahead for competitive exams and find more videos and helpful resources on how to prepare if you have decided to go for a job along with the basic subjects like electrical machines digital electronics etc mm -hmm. the subjects that are going to be most important for your job are control engineering and power electronics and in some cases digital signal processing as well for example, you know, if you want to make a career in electric vehicles, you need to have a good understanding of power electronic concepts as well as control engineering concepts. Now, along with the practicals, you should be having hands-on experience in that particular field. You should have done more projects and you should try to get yourself trained in that field. For example, suppose you want to get a job in the control department of, of an organization. You should have training experience as well as you should have made some projects in which you should have worked with some of the technologies and some of the practicals related to control engineering. So guys do write in the comment section what you feel about this video, whether you found this video helpful or not. In future I am going to bring more such videos for you. Your feedback is going to help me in bringing better videos and better content for you. If you have any doubts, do not forget to write that in the comment section. If possible, I will try to make a video on that in future so that your queries get resolved. So now continuing forward, I would like to make you face one reality and that reality is that in electrical engineering field, there are less jobs whether you talk about the government jobs or the private jobs. So when you have less jobs, you will have more competition. So keep this in mind that as there are less jobs, you will have to be very competent in your skills. So if you are going for competitive exams or if you are going for private jobs, you need to have very good knowledge on the subjects and the field that you have chosen. If you would like to go on a different path, that is if you would like to go in a sector where there are more chances for you to earn money, I would like to suggest you some of the fields. So as an engineer or as a technologist, you will find IT jobs to be very much relatable and very near to your field jobs. Some of the other fields which are trending at present are digital marketing, search engine optimization, graphics designing. And you can also search for more trending businesses where you can make more money instead of relying on the placement in electrical department. So moving forward, I am going to share with you some tricks with which you can prepare for IT jobs. So in order to get into IT entry level jobs, you should have good reasoning skills and basic programming skills. You can prepare on topics like object oriented programming and functional programming. When you have studied these concepts, the concepts of object oriented programming as well as functional programming, what you should do is, you should do some projects. For example, if you study functional programming, you can do some related projects on it like making a password generator system or making a graphical user interface system. 
there are lots of resources online on YouTube which can help you get better at programming. If you would like to explore this field, I can elaborate this in a future video. So do write into the comment section if you want me to make an elaborative video on this, like how to get into IT jobs being an electrical or triple E student. So these are the skills that you will need for getting into a beginner level IT job. If you want to get into some maybe higher level jobs in IT field, you have to go for data structures and algorithms as well as competitive programming. You can see online resources for more help. You can also visit this channel for more videos on programming. I keep uploading videos related to programming and in future I am going to upload more videos on how you can transition to an IT job. So in order to stay updated you can subscribe the channel. Now what I mean by linked projects is you can make a project which can include some programming as well as some electronic devices. Like you can make a home automation system. You can make a system in which there is some involvement of face detection and you know similar stops. For example, you can make a system which involves some web technologies or in fact web development. Okay, so in future I will try to make a detailed video on this. So please let me know if you would like to have a detailed video on this topic. So if you like the video, do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and you can share this video with your friends if you found this useful. Thank you for watching the video till the end and we will meet in some other videos in future. Bye.